Hi. Okay, you guys wanted a quick video about how to turn things in on your Google Doc and how to make folders. So here we go. I am going to first have you go to settings, your settings, and I want you to go to night notes. It's if I scrolled from the top and I go down to passwords and accounts, go to notes. And you want to change the setting so it saves to photos. So here's what it looks like. And you're going to go down to, whoops, you're going to go down to save to photos and make sure it's green. Okay. And we're going to go to the notes section. Whoops. Yeah. Scroll down. You could type in notes. Okay. I know mine's already there, but just so that everybody knows, click on notes. Okay, couple things about notes. Go back to folders. So make a new folder. Notice down here it says new folder. If you have not made a art folder, please do that for yourself, okay? Um, I actually don't have an art folder because I can't make a folder within a folder, but I'm making a texture folder, okay? So I'm gonna click on my texture folder. And then you can see I've got texture box stuff in there and I've got my rough draft and my final draft of my dinosaur. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one, delete him. Um, can I delete it? Oh, sorry, that was sharing, done. I wanna get rid of it. Oh, garbage can, okay. <gasps> Uh-oh, it got rid of everything. No, ugh, make sure you're clicked on something specific to delete it. Well, guess what? Click here, let's pretend that I made something and I'm gonna, um, uh, hold on, folders. Do I still have my texture folder? I do. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna take a photo, I'm gonna scan a document and I'm gonna do this all over again because I just deleted everything. And that sucks in a demo because I want to do this quick. Okay, so I have black paper that I like to cover things with. Put a weight on it so it stays. And move this paper down a little. Okay, and I'm going to have it take the picture. Awesome. And I'm going to save. Okay, right here's the save button. Save. Okay, and then I'm going to, let's pretend that my final draft is done too, which it's not, but for demonstration purposes, let's do it. Apologize, you guys. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to take another per scan and get Let's pretend this is my final draft. And again, save it down here in the corner. Save. Okay, both of these are saved. And let's go and look at photos and see if they're in there. They are, and they're in there a few times because I've done this twice now because things messed up when I was recording. Okay, so now we're going to go make a Google Doc and teach you how to make some folders and send it to me. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to go to Google, go to your Google Drive, and um, I've already made a bunch of folders, so I'm just clicking my back button. Okay, this is my drive. Notice, I have a bunch of folders in there, okay, so I can get organized. You need to do that too. So, if you have not made an art folder, I have an Art 2020 folder, click this Rainbow Plus button and click new folder and call it art okay once you get into the art folder i'm going to click on my art folder if you want to do a drawing folder for your texture source dinosaur then you could do that or you could just do a texture source one but i'm going to do a drawing folder i did that and then i have texture folder and i have a texture source folder and then I made a doc for a texture source demo. So I clicked the add button and I clicked Google Doc. And I got a texture source demo. It asked me to name it, so I named it. 
and then the pictures are already here but let's say I click on it and I'm gonna um, can I edit it and can I can I just hit return and get rid of it return return nope let's go here and can I hit return so it gets rid of it oh well I saw delete Delete. Okay, I wanted to get rid of them to show you how to bring them in. Here we go. I have an add button up here, right there. Add images from photos. Okay. And in my photos folder, I'm going to get the rough draft first. Click. There it is. I'm going to do it again. Add. I'm going to go to the images, go to photos, and I'm going to pick the final draft. And I actually think that this one kind of turned out better. So I'm going to put that one in. Okay. So now I have both of these. And then I went to the top and I called her Draconosaurus. She's a she. Okay. So Dracona, if it was a boy, it would be Dracono. Draconosaurus. But this is Draconosaurus. And I want to turn this in. Now, in order to share it, get rid of this. Look at the three dots at the top. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Three dots at the top. Go to share and export. You have to make sure that I can view it. All right. So go to share up here. And right here, you're going to make sure that I can see it. So when you go to change, if you click viewer, all 4J people right here, 4J people can view it. You also have the option to change it and go to commenter. If you want me to comment, let's say if it was a language arts assignment, you could do that. Okay, so I'm going to change it and I'm just going to change it to viewer and 4J is all there. And then I bet if I click this, oh, right here at the bottom was copy link. So I'm going to copy that link. All right. Now there's a couple of ways you can turn this in. Let's go see if we can do it one way and I'll show you another way. So go to your canvas on Safari. Here is Safari and I'm going to, um, let's go back to the dashboard. I want to look at it like you're looking at it. Okay. So, um, oh, I need to be on the home screen. Nope. I need to be on dashboard. Okay. Hold on, let's click it again. Explore. And now I'm gonna go to student view so it looks like what you're seeing. Okay, here's the view you would see. You're gonna go to modules right here and we're gonna go to today's assignment. So scroll up, it's week five or whatever assignment you're doing. And here's the texture source turn in page right here. So I'm gonna click that. All right, so I've already done this once, so it says resubmit, but I'm going to resubmit anyway, because this time I've got all my rough draft and my final draft on one document. I want you to always look at the grading. What do you have? Rough draft, make sure you have all the stuff. Make sure you do all these things. They're your checklist. Did I need a reflection? Nope, that's not on here, okay? But I do need the rough draft and the final draft. It's worth 40 points. Okay, I'm going to go up to resubmit. Okay, down here, I'm going to pick the text entry for this way of turning it in. And yeah, if I ask you to save. Oh, look, it has the stuff I did before. Now, I did this two different ways. Um, I actually made a link and I added a link on here. So if you go here and you could do add link and it allows you to add link. I don't think it does it now because I already have one. Um, but how I did this and I think it works is just hold it down and paste. So and then hit return. So I have three different um, entries on this because I did this already once. But if you do this and then make sure to scroll up and do submit assignment. Okay, then you get that lovely, oh look, we have shamrock confetti that time. Then when Miss Leslie looks at it, and I'm going to leave the student view, and this is me looking at it. I'm going to look at this assignment, and um, let's see, can I grade it from here? Whoops. 
Um, it's not going to let me do speed grader from here, you guys, to show you. Oh, here we go. Speed grader's at the bottom on the iPad. Okay, and then I'm going to search for me. I'm the test student. There I am. It's orange right here. I'm going to click on it. Look at there, right there. All three of those ways came. So let's link, see if this one works. Yep, there it is. And at that time I practiced, I only had one picture in there. Um, let's go to, whoops, let's go to the second version. Let's see what happens with that. Um, it only has one because that was the second time. Let's see, um, whoops, go back to um, Safari. And I'm going to try this third link and see how that went. And there's both of them. So that's the way to do it. Copy the link from where you changed the share. Okay, like who could see it. And both documents are there. That's how me, Miss Leslie, that's how I see it. Okay. You could also, um, I just want to show you when you're turning something in. Let's see, where are we? Um... Let's go to modules. I mean, you could leave now if you're watching the video, but I want you to be able to see from your point of view what I'm seeing. So let me go to student view again. Whoops, I need to go to dashboard and explore art. And then pick student view. Okay, now it'll look like what you see. Now, if you go to the modules, and you go back to that turn in page. Here's the other way that you can turn something in that should work. So there's that assignment again. And I'm, of course I'm going to resubmit. But you would just hit the submit button. I'm going to submit. Now you possibly could use this one. The LTI um, option for Google Drive. Now. It should come up with your drive. So let's say select file. Let's see if this way works. Um, the last thing I was working on was the texture uh, demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I'm gonna click the add button. And I'm going to attach it. Uh, drive items are not shared. So guess what, the other way is the way to do it. This one doesn't want to work. I think I would have to, um, yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Don't do it like that. Forget I did that. Okay, I'm going to end this video. I love you. Please come to office hours on A and B days from 915 to 1045 if you have questions. Bye.